boom boxes. Why did we get rid of these? They look sweet. They have retro colors and all this other cool <laughs> on them where you can like open stuff and do different things. That uh, None of it's necessary, but it looks cool and it feels cool. We're gonna take this old hunk of junk, cut it open and jam new parts into it to make it actually cool again and useful. Let's do that. But first, background. We need to know why this is cool. See, at one point, boom boxes were the only thing small enough to produce enough noise to annoy people at the parks, which is exactly why they had them. They ran on nuclear fusion and would catch fire to the public park. And that's exactly why we liked them. They were cool. They did something Nothing else did at the time. The boombox gave you the ability to throw sick parties wherever you went and get rid of all those rad D cells are that are just you? taking up space in your kitchen. What they were initially used for, we'll never know because this was the only product anyone can remember. And since those don't exist anymore, I really have no more occasions for my button down sweats. Just like breakdance circles, old fashioned car washes. They too are all gone, just like the boombox. See. What's replaced the boombox are, well, these. These aren't just, aren't cutting it. Now, do they sound better? Of course. Do they have better battery life? Well, yeah, we have less parks burning down. But it just makes you feel like a weenie. It turned a group of uh, beatboxing, sunsurfing, light beer drinking as people into the hated portable speaker guy. You all know that guy. He's riding some sort of single gear bike, wearing clothing befitting a 90s lesbian. Usually with round glasses and some sort of dirt stash uh, befitting the movie uh, Private Idaho with uh, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I mean, so where, where, where does this leave us? This leaves us with either hipster or even worse, the Apple headphone guy. And this is where I come in. I've got your back. Because we're going to rip everything we have out of this boombox and fill it full of modern guts so that we can continue to be the light drinkingest beer beer people. And um... we're going to take this basically recycling and add a bunch of new parts to it. So at your next gathering, you won't look like a vegan hot dog. And if your next gathering is a riot, probably a riot, uh, stick to the vegan hot dog you might blend in better. So, this is where you're gonna need to take notes, nerds, because what you're gonna need to do is you're going to want to go to grandma's house or some sort of thrift store or, you know, eBay and buy some recycling, AKA a boombox. And whichever one looks coolest is the one you should go for. So then, take all of the stuff that causes, well, electrical hemorrhoids and uh, toss that crap. No one, you, you don't need any of it. Hey, uh yeah. Third, go to Parts Express. Buy the Dayton Audio cab kit that comes with a Bluetooth receiver and a amp so that all you have to do is plug some speakers in, glue it all into place, and bada bing bada boom, you're back on the beach. Now, just to be clear, I'm not paid by Parts Express, but I wouldn't mind being. Their stuff's great, and I've done a lot of cool projects with them. Links down below in the description for parts and all that fun stuff. But back to the build. Grab some batteries, retro LEDs, glue gun, and cram all that stuff into the little plastic box that you bought that is the boom box until it all fits. Hey, uh yeah. Now using Dayton Audio's cab boards, put them all together in your enclosure and wire them correctly. We're gonna go over the wire. I ordered two more 50 watt speakers from Dayton Audio. I used the two by 50 watt class D Dayton Audio amplifier board, two of the cab battery boards that go with it mounted under this. I kept the cassette player so that I could have all those sweet button pushes. Um, I used one of the extension boards that come with an off on off switch and some volume pots. Um, I added added a LED strip, glued it around there, and uh, just tied that to the back, which is the USB audio board, um, which I actually mounted backwards to use um, from the back of the boombox, where they hold like huge uh, D cells used to be. Wait, 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 you don't actually care. There's a picture for the wiring diagram down below. Now that you've replaced the speakers, it's a lot louder because the speakers aren't from 1986. And you look great because you've gone from a toilet paper shaped thermos that creates sound to rad looking boombox. In addition to that, you also now have something to talk to with all the old men at the park because they all really like this for some reason. They'll come up and talk to you. I, I don't know why, but they, they really like it. I guess Father's Day's coming up. And seriously, they, they will come up and talk to you. You now have something in common. You're welcome. So pull up the antenna, crack a cold one, and pick out whatever you want. It's not the radio. You can pick whatever you want now.
back and relax because now you have something that's visually pleasing versus just a tin can that spurts sound wherever it wants to. Um, that's really all I got for you guys today. This was a fun one for me. This can do other things too, like charge your phone and uh, pick whatever music you want, just like the uh, music I'm playing for the background of this video. So remember, remember to subscribe, have a cold one, and have some fun. Give you out. Remember to subscribe and to play your favorite rap song, which I put up last week. I thought it was funny. Don't get it wet. They're not even close to waterproof. Bye.